Hi guys, today I'm going to do a project on analog watch using MATLAB. Open MATLAB command window and do a new script. So it will open editor window in that we have to write code. So I'll be explaining the code first, then we'll run one by one and see the output. So first x equals to 0, y equals to 0, these are the coordinates and r equals to 10. So first for an analog watch, we'll draw a circle of radius 10. Then hold on, hold on is used to overlap multiple outputs in a single frame. And this is time period 0 to 2 pi, that is nothing but 0 to 360 degree and in the span of pi by 50 that is nothing but 180 divided by 50 so we have x unit and y unit will in a x y direction will give the units r into cos theta we know the maximum value of cos and sine is nothing but 1 and minus 1 in the negative direction as well so after that we will plot x and y so by this time we will get a circle of radius So we got the circle of radius 10 with units. This will close and we'll go to the next part. So we have r equals to 8. So with that r equals to 10, the circle radius, we have to plot the numbers like the number of hours 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 12. For plotting, we have to come inside the circle. So for that, we'll take the lower radius r equals to 8 and string equals to 1 will start from 1 till 12 we have to go for that we have to give time period pi by 6 that is nothing but 180 by 6 from 30 30 is nothing but 1 so pi by 6 and in the span of 30 till 360 we have to go and we have to write the values y temp and x temp are nothing but coordinates so we'll use once again cos and sine to locate the position for that we have to give output y coordinates and number to string whichever number is there it will convert it to string and string position is nothing but s so first it was 1 so we'll increment plus 1 till n n is nothing but this is a for loop so till 2 pi it will increment and it will end we'll see the output for this part of code run it so we should get the output with circle and numbers entered inside this yeah we got the output so it was 1 2 3 till 12 in the span of 30 degree separation between those numbers so we'll go to next part so next part is very important this is nothing but logic of clock so what is the logic of clock while one that is nothing but clock should be always running so condition is one that is always true so this is an infinite loop it will be running on infinite loop and c is nothing but clock when we give clock as a function c is nothing but clock clock as a function it will take the system time date all the data will be stored in C. So after getting those system time, we have to give minute and second information. What is the minute and second information? We have to load into minute and second. After that, if, if C11 is greater than C12, our condition is this one, C11 minus 12. That is nothing but the AM, PM we can denote with this. Similarly, if this condition is not met, then hour is in between C11. Similarly, for minute, we have to do round off and seal is nothing but the round off to 12. That is nothing but minute divided by 12. And theta hour into pi by 6 plus minute 1 into pi by 30. These are the logic. If you need the detail of this logic, you can comment your email id or any queries i'll be clarifying the here we won't waste much time on explaining this code so in video we'll keep it short and we'll explain the output similarly here we have giving dot x comma y 
here we are plotting x and y this is nothing but coordinates and y 0 y 10 these are nothing but lines i will be showing how the lines are there the shorter hand for hours the longer hand for seconds and the medium size one is for minutes so similarly we are giving hold on that will overlap the output and theta 1 minimum pi by 30 this will be the center whatever theta we have given all the lines should start from center of the clock for that we have given theta 1 and once again we have given y and temp the logic behind this is in one hour the hour's hand should rotate by 30 degree similarly in one hour minute hand should rotate by 360 degree next is plot p2 x2 x2 all the second minute and hour hand we are starting from the center and it will be rotating according to the logic that is 30 degree per hour 360 degree per hour and three seconds is one second for one second we can use this function pause one pause one it will cause a delay of one second in the rotation of second hand it will rotate one by one the one second the inbuilt function we can use for the movement of second and according to second we can use minute hand to move after 360 rotation of minute hand one 30 degree rotation will be done by her hand the same we have to delete whatever plot was there each and every time in a loop so that the next time the new location will be added the same way i will show you the output by running the entire code so this is our output you can see hour end and this is our minute end and this is the longest one is second end and to verify the time we'll see the system time that is nothing but 4th may 1638 1638 we are here we have subtracted 12 so that is nothing but it has to show 438 438 you can see 4 is here and near 35 38 here in system there is no seconds so when it rotated to 39 it should complete to well and it's 39 here similarly here also it's 39 so with this in figure window there is different different data you can enter so insert legend or insert color bar if you want to insert you can insert color bar this will be helpful if you are output window is any heat map in further videos we'll be doing some heat map projects that time we can compare we can insert the heat map and we can give the data whatever colors we are using the same thing we can use for hands we can give hours minutes here thank you if you have any queries or any explanation is required you can post in comments you can give your gmail id or any social media account if you need any kind of help and source code